Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you? I hope you will be enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. There is an English for grade 2 and we are learning unit number 4 and its title is mobile phone. Yes, my dear fellow teacher, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation and worksheet links are given below. You may click it, download it or you can adjust it for your ease. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Our today's lecture, lecture number 3, we will learn about the use of has and have on page number 33. So, my dear students, already before in English for grade 1, we have already learned about words that showing possessions. That position word, possession words, ownership, those words shows already we have learned. If you may not, I hope you remember it. If you may not, so you can watch this video lecture again. Our today's student learning come outcome is, my dear students, use has and have to show possession. Okay? So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Al-Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 255, To him, Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and earth. Subhanallah. My dear fellow teachers and my dear students, this beautiful verse is clearing us to that, that everything belongs to Allah Almighty and Allah Almighty has possession on everything whatever that is on earth and whatever that is in heaven. So, all things belongs to Almighty Allah. So, this beautiful verse is also telling us about the possessions that as we are going to read today. So, let's see. See, these examples read out. This is her doll. Okay. This is her doll. So, let's see now. She has a doll. So, what do you think? Both have same meaning, na? Yes, both words are showing possession. She has a doll. You can see there, my dear students. She, this is her doll. Got it? So, this has is also showing possession that she is a girl and she has a doll. Have you got? Okay, here is another example for you. This is our car. Yes, this is our car. We have a car. Okay? First, they are saying that this is our car and now we have a car. Okay, it means this car belongs to them. Is it clear? Got it, my dear students? In this way means these words are showing possession. Got it? Have you got? Good. Next, let's see how we can use has and have. We use has and have to show possessions of things. Has is used for singular nouns. Have is used for plural nouns. My dear students, we use has and have to so show possession of things. Anything that belongs to us, that belongs to you. So, we also use has and have. Two uses are there. Has is used for singular naming words and have is used for particular naming words. Okay, my dear students. So, let's see how we can, uh, sorry, have is used for plural naming words. So, let's see there two examples. Use of has. Has is used for singular naming words like Ali, Sara, he, she and it. Have you got that? Ali, Sara means these are particular names. Okay. And he, these, he, she, it, singular substitution word. Have you got my dear students? So, we used has, we use has with singular naming word or singular substitution word. So, keep remember always that where we have to use has when we are talking about one person, then one thing. So, we will use has. See there, Ali has a bat. Got it? Ali is a singular. Is it clear? Sara has a doll. You can say that he has a bat. In this way, we can manage that. Okay? She has a doll. Dog has a tail. It has a tail. Have you got it, my dear students? See there, Ali is a naming word. Sara is a naming word. And he is a substitution word of Ali. She is a substitution word of Sara. 
and dog is also a naming word and it is a substitution word of dog but we have used with all of them has have you got that why because these all naming words and substitution words are singular these are all singular means we are talking about one person and one thing that's why we have used has is it clear good now let's move next use of have have is used for plurals like ali and sara they sara and i we you and i have you got my dear students so we use have with plural naming words plural naming words means more than two already we have learned singular plural my dear students so we also know that Singular is a one person, one place, or one thing, and plural, more than one person, one place, or one thing. Have you got that? So let's see through different examples. Ali and Sara have a bicycle. They have a bicycle. Is it clear? Now, Sara and I have a teddy bear. We have a teddy bear. You can see. You have a toy car. I have a book. Is it clear? So now you can see these all are plural. Okay. So that's why we have used have to show possession. So I can say like I have a pen. Okay. You have a book. Your class have a. What do you have? Anything else that you have? Your class have toys anything that you have in your class that belongs to you okay your teacher has a book your teacher has a notebook so teacher is a singular noun singular naming word so have you got my dear students in this way we can get that where we you have to use has and where we have to use have clear now you see there i have a bag yes she has it all you can see singular, singular, we have a car. Now you can see one, two, three, three persons are there. Okay, three people are there. So we have used have and there is we. Have you got that? Good. Next, use of has and have. What you have to do on page number 33? Question number 8, complete the following sentences using has or have. So now, my dear students, be careful. We have to use has with singular naming word and we have to use have with plural naming word. So pause the video and perform this activity in your class on your book. So welcome back, my dear students. I hope you have done it in a nice way. Like Ali has two cats. Even these are two, but our subject is Ali and our naming word is singular. That's why we will use has. Have you got my dear students? Good. Next see. There was that already you have done. So what's your homework? Write 10 sentences using has and have in your notebook. So now you will write 10 sentences. 5 can be by the use of has and 5 can be by the use of have in your notebook. This is your homework so there is worksheet my dear teacher this worksheet link is given below you should provide it to your students in printed form and get that how they can use has and have according to the naming words so what we have learned today we learned to use has to show possession for singular naming words we learned to use have to show possessions of plural naming words we learned to you uh, ha use have to show possessions for you okay so in this way we have covered up our discussion so my dear students i hope today's lecture you have enjoyed a lot so tomorrow with a new lecture we will meet soon till that time stay blessed thank you so much allah